dance floor. It was up to my best friend Sully who um, introduced me to progressive music around when I was 18 and then from there just delved in and the sound I was looking for got heavier and heavier until it was uh, Junction 2 Festival in 2017 where I first witnessed uh, Techno Live and then just from there I fell in love. So I've actually graduated from architecture now but when I used to study it was it was really hard but um, so what I do is work so many hours during the day on my course and then reward myself at the end of the night with uh, production time so most days probably just end up producing music till about five in the morning. It's actually just about sending you uh, energy and my love for these weird noises. So um, I think like any viewer or listener in any art form, it's up to them but I'm just trying to send you some good vibes. Of course, ever since the start, Emily Lenz, Dax J, I Hit Models, Bane Clock was actually a really big influence. Um, but at the moment, there's artists like Sarah Landry, Cassie Raptor, Otter, Frasier, um, a lot, a lot more, a lot more I can name. But I just wanted to say thank you to Emily and Nine Times Nine for the support so far they've given me on this journey. Um, well, of course, One Piece, but. Other than that, there's also Haiku, there's Jujutsu Kaisen, Hunter, Viva Hunter. Um, the movie, there's some, there's one movie that I really like called Paprika, so I recommend that. Best set I've witnessed, Jesus. Uh, so anything from the Reactor Nights in Amsterdam, Photon from Ben Clock, um, Dash Chase, I Hate Models sets. Uh, actually, there was one. All the temple set of fabric. I'm not sure when, but that was that was unbelievable stuff. Got to be print works for sure. The nights of having there, unbelievable. <laughs>